so calling a metropolis Amphotric means you know it has both the city and basic properties. <coughs> Group five B they include the vanadium, niobium, tantalum. Right? So this is N B, this is B, and this is T A. Then you have six B. Six B you have chromium, molybdenum. Stuff. So the important thing is plus five and plus six oxidation state. From weak acids that readily condense. Okay, condense. So you have minus H two O or minus Cl. Polymerized to form anions containing several molecules of the acid amine. Right. Okay. So. Now this is a very crucial thing for you to know what happens with the metal atoms when you have something like X. Okay, so let take X equal to uh, Cr, O and V, and when you react it with the O, you get uh, uh, because you have to, if you have to travel into the six four four and then you get X four five. And then you get X O six. Okay, but what happens is because of the presence of uh, some hypervalent elements or is particularly this class of elements, there is formation of X O H also. Okay, because we have written that in the isopoly and heteropoly acids mm -hmm. there is condensation, and it is involved with the removal of water molecules there. Removal of water molecules. So this uh, condensing reversibly when the pH is lowered, it happens when you lower the pH of the solution. So this thing happens when you lower the pH of the solution, and the condensation usually results in. When you lower the pH, as you know, I am just uh, going to tell you that you are adding some H plus ions. Okay, so let us assume that if you have uh, XO4 like this, okay, so you are reducing the pH means you know you are increasing the concentration of H plus ions. So when you have X plus ions, you get you can get a XO3 and OH. So look at this. You are gaining this H plus. You have four oxygen atoms here, and you get three here. One oxygen goes and reacts with this oxygen atom to give XO3, OH. Okay. What happens to the charge there? This will have suppose for example uh, XO4 N. Then you will have a charge like N minus one because you are adding plus there. So if you already have a charge like uh, uh, minus n, then you get minus n plus one. And uh, two such molecules, like two x o three o h minus n plus one. Suppose if you have here you have plus one, and then here you have uh, plus one. Okay, the, because this is being added there. This plus charge is added here. So this is not true, but I just taken an example. Okay. So when you add two x o three o h, and you get o x o three x three, right? O x o x o three plus h two o. That is, you know, I can just put it in more metal. Suppose if you have uh, an X atom like this, okay, 
you make a hydroxide compound like this and you make an hydroxide compound like this it's a bridged molecule and then what happens is you just remove one water molecule there so here this is one h and one oh and h what do you get you get x o and x that is what i want to just mention there so if you have 2xo3 it will it will it will form the o x o and another x o3 here so this particular bridge you know it's uh, is what you get here or even x o x o x o x okay so this is how you just have to remember it and it, it is happening only for this particular elements so not for everything so if this condensed that is currently in one type of acid and hydride remember the simplest acid and hydride we often see is ch3 twice and o second of uh, oxide and they are called they are just called as the isopoly acids isopoly acids and their salts are called as isopoly salts the acid and hydrates can also condense with other acid like for example phosphoric or silic acid to form heteropoly acids that is for example in the uh, while you reduce the lower the ph of that you just go on adding some phosphate or sulfate or silicate ions there this uh, just go in between this and they form the heteropoly acid salts without this also they form but when you put when you condense them the presence of phosphates in this phase they form the acids now the beauty with this is they have got a very beautiful structure with this and uh, for example uh, they just polymerize right polymerize means you know they just uh, join line by line here so let us just before writing this equation i'm just going to tell you this uh oxo bridges we have seen then oxo bridges by elimination of water molecule the molecules of the weak acid is an important thing you need to remember the best known and the simplest example is the condition of yellow chromatium cro4 2 minus to form an orange using the color isopoly dichromatium cr2 and you have seen lot of this cr2 O7 to minus an equivalent reaction of the extent which depends on the pH. So this is a intense colored compound. Intense color. Just we have seen like uh, KMnO4 also there. So manganese complexes also form there, but they do not polymerize. The reason is the nature. And you keep on reducing the pH of the solution, you get more and more uh, such polymers getting condensed. An equilibrium reaction. that is to say that if you reverse the ph reverse the ph okay the same thing will again come back so it's a very important point for you to mention there in acidic solution the isopoly anion cr2 o7 2 minus predominates while in basic solution the simple cr4 so this is a, a kind of csir question there that uh, what is the reason for chromium not forming higher 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 poly acids higher poly acids for example i just mentioned one uh, one important poly acids there yumbo o4 okay seven of these molecules condensed together with uh, 8h plus 8h plus they give remember the reversible energy yumbo 7 o 24 yumbo 7 o 24 it is plus 6 has to go okay so here g so is 2 minus here you have 6 minus right so you see in this uh, there are seven such molecules are being added and when you increase the ph this is what is happening when you reduce the ph this is what is happening it's coming back okay 
So you can just take a color of this CrO4 to minus plus 8H plus, it just goes on pH increase and pH decrease. So it's a reversible reaction. Cr2, Cr7O24, so it's in 6 minus plus 6H2O is also done. Now this is uh, the difference between them. Then MO7 is uh, reduced, it gets back to MO4. But uh, here Cr2O7, it goes back there. So you can just uh, again, after something what happens is it uh, forms Cr2O3 and even Cr CrO2. This capacity of uh, forming a smaller, smaller molecules. Okay is not found with is not uh, found with the molybdenum or vanadium okay so what happens is only these things uh, they go to these small molecules and these are very stable and these are very stable so that again if you increase the ph if you want to increase the ph they once they become stable they not they do not go to this so they stay as a cr2 o3 or cr2 o only so the existence of this ion and, and crystalline salts has been proved by structural studies. Such an ion is uh, likely to be protonated or uh, associated with water molecules in aqueous solution. So the important equation is XO3OH and O3XOXO3. Here is it. Here it is. Just again. O3, XO, XO, O3, XO, XO, 3. And this particular bridge, this one is oxy bridge. And is a result of a removal of a two hydroxidants from as a result of the, the water molecules there. Okay, so pH is lower to about 6.8, polyanion formation commences, pH lower to 6 to 8, polyanion commences, so this is a very important point, polyanion formation. commences only at pH equal to 6 to 8 it, it starts to happen there when the solution containing MO7 O24 is acidified further you get uh, MO8 O26 MO8 O26 8 minus further reduction in reduction in pH. You move it, O26, so it is 4 minus 10. Okay, and uh, larger ionic complexes, so it becomes larger as a result of that performed for higher acidity. But none has been identified up to pH of 1 because you know at pH uh, a very important question is you just keep on reducing at pH H is equal to less than 1 and trioxides are formed trioxides are formed so this is a very important point for you to write why doesn't you uh, know some of the ions with when you keep on reducing the pH they do not go and form a uh, larger ions means you know at lower pH they just uh, trioxide is preserved. Many different techniques have been involved and uh, conductometric pH titration, U spectroscopy, they have been used to find out the structure of that. So MO7, MO24, MO8, uh, 26 structure is also already given there. So I will just uh, put a summary of that in the, in the last part. Here is the structure that is there. Okay. Now you have to you have to draw this structure. You have to draw this structure. Okay, 
otherwise it won't fetch you the marks so let me just to summarize this okay uh, here it is uh, reducing of ph uh, w6421 and for the reduction uh, w61241 W6, uh, o, W12, O41, and that is uh, pH of about 6 to 7. Uh, it is there, pH 6 to 7. So here it is H, and then this is a reversible reaction. And uh, it's about, for example, pH 5, 4, 5 to 4, like that. So again, you you have this hydrogen atom because pH when reduced you get uh, the <coughs> H, uh, H atom added to that so it is phi minus it is phi minus and this one is 10 minus the cationic charge is there this is a reversible reaction and for the reduction into the pH is there so this is uh, an important thing you have to mention that uh, it's called as para tungstate A and this one is called as a para tungstate B para tungstate A and para tungstate B let us see what is happening to the uh, pH when you just reduce this pH to 3 uh, this is giving you H3 W6O21 H3 W6O21 3 minus okay so this one will be called as the uh, meta tank state one will be called as the meta tungstate. What happens when you just further reduce it? Uh, you add up, for example, here is the further reduction in pH. This is a uh, reduction pH lower than 3 and here is you have got pH greater than 3. Then you get H2W12 41 and this one is uh, I think the charge should be actually the charge around 6 minus so this is a scheme there right uh, now very important point this one is also again a meta tank state very important point is uh, this uh, reduction in pH further to pH less than 1 it is going to give you W O3 okay W O3 is uh, uh, trioxide so this is the last uh, form the trioxides are precipitated trioxides are precipitated at a pH uh, lower than now coming from this to that is becomes very important again you have to oxidize it and suppose if you have wo3 you you have to add some h plus ion so that you get wo2 and oh there so two such things uh, will give rise to woh oh like this and then there will be removal of this water molecule from this and then you get WOH, WOH, this will be 2 and 3 numbers, so they just lower the pH, they just polymerize. Okay, so uh, this is the thing that you need to remember. This is the thing you need to remember, very important point. Okay, uh, so 
an additional point that I just want to mention here is that when you reduce the pH dot about six six to seven, that means instead of WO3, if you have WO4 instead of that, you know, if you have WO4, so let me draw it here WO4 2 minus WO4 2 minus so slightly between pH equal to six to seven. Already we have seen that WO3 is going and it's not a reversible reaction. Uh, it is going to give you W6O21 again. W6O21 is W6O21 by minus. Okay, this is uh, uh, this ion is also a, called as the paratank state and uh, it ages in solution uh, to form W12O41. W12 O41 H2. Now this is the thing that is mentioned is ages in solution. What is meant by ages in solution? That is you have to leave that solution uh, as it is you now for a period of time so that uh, over a time it again condenses to form this uh, W12. H6 uh, uh, W12 O41. Okay, so it is only one H, I think. Let me and make a correction there. So only one H there. H W6 O21. H W12. Without that, right? Okay, right. So this one is right. The X-ray structure of one of the salt of this has been identified. That is, you know, if you just uh, put it in terms of the sodium hydroxide, you know, you can you can get a compound like uh, Na10 W12 O41 O41. So the X-ray structure of this sodium salt has been identified and uh, it has been found to contain about uh, 28 H2 this uh, coordinated water is so much that means so much amount of hydroxide bridges have been formed and they have been condensed so likewise there are other uh, such uh, Na10 W12 O6 have been found with 23 H2O and uh, they represent the degree of hydration okay so now coming back to the structure i'm just going to tell you how to draw it and finish up our first session here so i suggest to you you first draw uh, simplify this right okay so let me see this i'm just going to draw this So after drawing this, I'm just putting some lines here to identify this right away. Okay, I'm just uh, shading them. Taking some efforts to draw, you have to draw it otherwise. They won't give you some marks there. So here, uh, after drawing this, uh, I think we have to, um, the center part is also there.
after you draw it just uh, this Yes, set it to white to five. Similar things there. These are all the actors. Now this you have to number it as one, two, three. three and four now again because you have drawn this line so now like this you can you can again draw like this Same thing for this portion also. So you have now the octa trace. One, two, three, and four. After drawing this structure, you have to mention how they are being shared there. Now this uh, the centers of this one, two, and three, four. This is the centers of this one, two, three, and four. They form a rectangle. This is the center. This is the center. This is another center. They form a rectangle. Not only that, the one and three, two and four share corners. One and two. Sorry, one and uh, three and two and four. These two share corners. Here, yeah, this is a corner, right? I think I told you this. This thing is called as the edge, and even or sometimes it is called as the apex. And this is a corner there, which. Uh, uh, which octahedra is sharing which you have to mention there and then this around these sides uh, this particular thing now which i'm going to share it here it's called as the face so there is no sharing of the faces there only sharing of the edges and the corners there so the way in which the octahedra are assembled can be best understood by noting that the labeled one two three four share edges Okay, all the one, two, three, four share edges while one, three, two, one and three and two and four share corners so that the one, two, three, four form a rectangle. Okay, one, two, three, four share edges. This is the one, two, three and four. Where th this is, there is, this is the edge there. Okay, that edge is shared by this. Again, uh, here is an apex and this this will be having a this this is an octahedra octahedra is uh, this one i'm just drawing the octahedra there this is it so it is given like this you have to imagine it so that means you know a portion that is hidden is like this These are all the after address that uh, we mentioned here. So, suppose if you have oxygen here, 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 oxygen here, oxygen here, you will have our molecule is YMO. Okay, YMO 6, YMO 6 is there because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Only one YMO 6 is there. Now, you when you bring another 
such octahedra here close into that another octahedra like this what happens is you know the uh, you can see that uh, this oxygen uh, is becoming common to both this this is the oxygen there okay this oxygen is common to both this as well as this so if you have mo2 it should be mo6 mo2 o12 but what happens is this oxygen is becoming common so you get actually mo2 o11 and then the charge is equally distributed like that so the more the common things are there not only this is shared here this particular lower oxygen atom is shared by another octahedra below that okay so if you have a four such units you see one two three four four oxygen atoms are common to molybdenum okay molybdenum units so the first unit is mo6 but because it is sharing there you get mo6 it is shared by another thing it becomes mo5 and that is why if you have mo2 it should be actually mo2 units mo3 o10 so it goes on like uh, being sharing it so this will be the sharing of the corners and this will be the sharing of the edges edges and corners so this thing you have to keep on writing like that and uh, uh, the octahedra are so placed that they share it just with the nearest neighbors and the octahedra melaton in uh, mo8 o26 uh, is having a similar structure as shown in the figure that, that we have drawn and uh, this uh, is similar to para tungsten and meta tungsten and uh, it is an isostructure with 12 tungsto 12 molybdo heteroanions referred later and then you can going to see that later uh, any discrepancy in this will be the defect in the crystal and that is uh, due to the insertion of hetero acids hetero anions such as mo6 or even po4 this uh, po4 and so4 anions may be during condensation you know they may go involved in into inside this po4 minus then you just call it the hetero poly acids hetero poly acids so here is the structure that this is viewed from above this is viewed from above and this is from the side base so we have seen the one this is the one two three and four you can see that the centers of this you know are forming a rectangle centers of these are forming a rectangle there and that's what we have seen already and uh, this kind of structure is uh, is capable of having some holes there here holes there this is a hole there this hole can accommodate the po4 tetrahedra or so4 tetrahedra that is why you just call it the hetero otherwise if this is not shared it is a isopoly acid so it's only contains mo7 so one oxygen atom at the center is common to this one this one this one and uh, this oxygen at is atom is common to this one this one where is it not only only two so there are places where oxygen atoms are common to only two tetrahedras and two octahedras but you just have to draw them to give you a structure okay we shall see something more about the structure in our latest class thank you for joining me see you soon